I rise today to recognize the courage, the fortitude, and the sheer patriotism of E. Jean Carroll. You may have heard something about her involved in a recent court case, which followed another court case, in which Ms. Carroll received a very favorable judgment by juries of her fellow citizens who heard and weighed all the evidence, free of political ads. Here we shall not name the defendant because we're talking about American heroes and a movable force and an inspiration for all Americans. We should be heartened that Ms. Carroll, at a terrible personal cost, did not shrink from taking on the most powerful person in the world, not Taylor Swift, the other guy, in a world to bring him to justice and hold him accountable for his terrible deeds. Ms. Carroll did not waver, even as the minions of her abuser attacked her in the most vile and despicable ways. E. Jean Carroll was a steady, had steady grace and determination, and the jury saw her, and they saw her truth. As she summed it up, her case is a huge defeat for every bully who has tried to keep a woman down. I hope all Americans find a glimmer of hope that we may yet be the country we must be to survive, and that no one, no matter how powerful, is above the law. I yield back the balance of my time. The gentleman yields back. For what purpose does the gentlewoman from Louisiana seek recognition? Mr. Speaker, I ask to address the House for one minute and revise and extend my remarks. Without objection.